Bye bye, buddy. Okay. Let's get this sorted. Lovely. Let's do that. Okay, let's just check this. Hmm. <sighs> nicely, nicely. Hey everyone, how you doing? Let me just check that this is all working. What's happening here? Okay. <laughs> are we live? We should be. We've got people watching. Hey, there we are. No, boy, how are you, mate? Welcome. Let me just make sure this is working. There we are. Hey. Oh, I've had a phone call. Now, if you look over there, we've got a uh, racehorse goanna that's trying to get in on the action, okay? How are you, mate? Rightio. There we are. Scotty, how are you, bud? Welcome to the stream. Now, let me just put a little notification out for everyone. Okay. All right, just give me a second. We've gone up a level in our um, content, fam. Laptop. Uh, I'm just testing out a new antenna today. Okay. So, um, when we've applied for partner on YouTube, thank you very much for everyone's support in um, giving up their time to watch the stream. See him? He's just over there. See that little head popping out on the bottom left of that far right window? That's a very small racehorse goanna that likes to bite things. Hello, Baby Blue. Thank you very, very much for your support on Twitter, mate. Let me just go into community on here and I'll send out a message. Unfortunately, the um, streaming time chops out a lot of our people from Europe and um, the UK, but unfortunately these are the times that we have agreed to come in. So let me go community. All right, I'm just gonna sort this out then. Just give me a second. I hope everyone's well. And look, um, yeah, it was a big thing to achieve in only three months really. If, I mean, we haven't even really streamed properly. I had a two week break in that. So in about three months, thank you very, very much for giving up your time to watch fam. We got the uh, email to apply yesterday, so we did it. We are live. Let me get this going, dingoes, wallabies, quokkas. Wombats, he's grumpy. Let's post this. Boom. And we're done. Alrighty, extreme, mate. Oh, we haven't got it yet. I hope that we do get it, but you know, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Now, this is our normal monthly stream from the uh, local wildlife park. Um, we took a break for a little while, obviously, just with work commitments and that sort of stuff, and um, just a few other things that were going on. 
So uh, I'm just going to cover everything up so it doesn't get hot. Heat's the biggest killer when you stream over here. <laughs> Patch the Sinclair, how are you, bud? Look, welcome to the stream, mate. Um, that's, yeah, I just said to everyone, with the timings uh, of this stream, it sort of chops out a lot of one uh, from Europe and the United Kingdom, but it's good to see you in here. Now, mate, what we do is we normally have a monthly stream, okay? Um, we do it from a local wildlife park, right? And then um, that way it just allows us to uh, basically... Um, well, we just provide a uniquely Australian experience on the stream. Um, I'm just going to have a little iced coffee before we go in. Right, so I've managed to get over a few health issues I've had recently, mainly from eating, because let's face it, look at me, I'm good at it. Right, but that's all good. Cheers, fam. You'll only see alcohol on this stream every once in a blue moon. Right, and not in excessive quantities. So... <laughs> What we've got today, okay, is we have, and I'll just wait till we get a few more people in the stream. In the background, you can hear, I think it's an Indian rigging neck parrot, okay? So we have permission to live stream from this wildlife park on days when the public are not in here, okay? And what I've done is I've bought an annual pass to the park to support it. Every time we come in, I buy about 12 bags of feed because with the feed, it allows us to provide content for everyone. Okay, and um, on top of that, it's just uniquely Australian. So once a month we stream uh, from here. Now on Wednesday, we're going back and doing our live stream from the sea turtle rescue area, right? So um, that's a stream we did weekly. We're probably going to do fortnightly now. So what it has, we have a uh, sea turtle rehabilitation area here in Western Australia, where with the storms this year, I think they peaked at 32 turtles they found on the beach. And um, so with all of that, what happens is it allows us to um, live stream their progress. They weigh them and we get um, admission into the uh, area where they do it. And it just gets the word out there, okay? So what I'm going to do now, let me just go to Discord for a second. Timothy Johnson, how are you, bud? Welcome, mate. Yes, Australia, where even the weather tries to kill you. No, it's not that bad. Oh, look, I don't care, Discord. We're busy. All right, general chat. All right, we've put the live notice in there. Two announcements. Yep, great, that's good. Look, uh, I'm gonna get rid of Discord off this laptop. <laughs> All right, Subtract, how are you, mate? Welcome to the stream, bud. All right, so, it's quite handy to be able to get exclusive access when there isn't public around, fam, because um, there's a few things with that. With streaming, you're not allowed to um, live stream people under 18 unless you have their permission so you know that's a big big problem and on top of that too um, it just allows us to immerse ourselves now that's the local peacock hey bud come here what's this hey. come on it's waiting for you come on he's a real show off mate come on come here buddy here he comes he knows the sound of food. Watch this. <laughs> oh, not yet. Um, thank you, Shanky Beard. I don't know yet, Jackie Horse. I hope so, bud. I hope we've got the... Um... Hey, come on. Here he comes. He should come right up to the... Um... I'll just shift the camera, because you don't need to see my ugly mug for too much longer. Here he comes. Right, we'll get him in here. Hello, mate. Come on. You only find this here. Come on. Hey, come here. Come here, dear boy. Hey. Come on. Not many places you can go and get a peacock eat out of your hand. Come on, bud. Here. Just got to keep very still. 
Hello, mate. There you go. Come on, help yourself. I'm not going to flinch. Good boy. Yeah, there you go. See? Literally eating straight out of her hand. The pigeons are getting really jealous. I'm actually waiting for his tail to fall off. Hey? And after a while, they get accustomed to you, so they trust you. Sorry, I'm, I'm talking to the camera. I didn't mean that. You're going to need a drink of water in a minute. Oh, really, Timothy? Awesome, mate. I need to get my hand-eye coordination back from the boxing because while he's got his head in that bag, I'm sure I can pluck three or four feathers off his head. But then he'd never come near me again. Okay. There you go, mate. And the little pigeon's coming in here trying to get scraps, but I think the peacock's the boss. Yes, the male is known as the peacock, the female is known as the peahen. All right. Is that okay with you? Good boy. Come on. Why don't you be a show off and show everyone your tail? Look at all that peacock hurl, peacock sword, peacock eye. <laughs> Ah, uh, Churchill Park. Okay, Timothy, we'll have a look at that. There you go, bud. Come on. Oh, Patch, do you have um, issues um, with the steam and that sort of stuff, mate? If you ever want to um, have a chat about that, I've been through it myself. Just type in exclamation mark Discord, that'll give you a link to the Discord, and away we go. We have got a very good group of people in there. Right, I sympathise with you totally, mate, because unless people go through it, they don't know what's going on. Here. There you go. Oh. Oh, no, I'm not going to flinch. I'm not going to scare you. Come on. Oh, that was that burnout that put him off. All right. Yeah, that car started to belt along and he got put off a bit. There you go, man. There you go, buddy. Hear all the birds starting to make noise? And let's face it, Patch, living in Scotland can be a bit depressing, you know? Especially if you're a Dundee United fan. No, I'm kidding. So, or Dundee FC, which is the one, anyway. <sighs> you're not wrong, Jackie. It's taken look, one look at me and goes, I bet you he's eating a lot of chicken in his time. You know, don't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just the uh, Twitter. Uh, 11.44 in Canada. The time here, bud, is 12.45. So you're 13 hours behind. There you go, mate. You're going to need a drink of water otherwise, you know. Isn't it amazing how it's such a beautiful bird... Right, has been created like that. You would tie the best Craig's nighttime feathers with those feathers on your neck, mate. You could tie some absolutely amazing, oh, he's had his fill. You could tie some absolutely amazing, like, midge patterns with the very small feathers on his head. Look at that tail. Seriously? Huh. Hey, bud. Come on. There you go. All right. Now, what we're going to do, okay, is I think the best thing to do, fam, is we'll go through and start at the kangaroos, which, oh, sorry, sorry, Mark, didn't mean that. We'll go out and start at the kangaroos just before it gets too hot. And then what we'll do is we'll work our way back to this area, which is uh, really well shaded due to these couple of Morton Bay fig trees that are here. These are massive trees, absolutely massive. 4.45 in Scotland. I love Scotland, Patch. Right, first things first, let's go and have a few lizards. Ah, rightio. Let's put that in there. Mm. 
excuse me for a second, famo. Right, what's that one? Let me just check this fam. Right, so, sorry birdies. Without further ado, I'm gonna finish me little Kofarunski. And then I'm going to show you some uniquely Australian wildlife, fam. Because that's what we do. We don't try and just limit ourselves to fishing streams. We've got a lot of really interesting content coming up. I'm not going to give it away. Subtract here. Yeah, something like that subtract. Let's go, famo. All right. Oh, sorry, birds. All right, let me plonk this down in here. Okay, hopefully the uh, kangaroo doesn't know how to use um, the laptop. Then we're in real trouble. Mate, I keep forgetting your name, bud. Right. Am I allowed to give you a pat or not? No? No, obviously not. All right, let me just put this in the bin. Right. Now, first things first, let me show you a goanna. Yep. The great Australian racehorse goanna. Here we are. Check this out. Where is he? He was trying to climb out before. Has he gone out of the sun? Is he just down here or what? Where did he go? Sometimes you don't even see him until he starts moving. Let's have a look. Hmm. He was climbing up before he must have got bored. Let's have a look. Nope. Nope. Oh, no. He's gone into the little reptile enclosure there. They go in there during the daylight. All right, famo. Hey, bud. So I've got my little streaming trolley and all that. Let's just leave that there for a second. Beautiful. Dun, dun, dun. Right, fam, let's go for a walk. So what we'll do is we we'll go and catch up with the kangaroos before it gets really, really hot. Whoops, sorry about that. I better put this chair back. Not that it matters to anyone else, but it matters to me. Right, and have a look at this beautiful, I think it's a Morton Bay fig. Look at the size of this tree, right? That's the shade that we're under at the moment. Look at that, absolutely massive tree. It's probably about 50 meters high, and I'd say a good 40 meters wide. Right, now, I just need to charge up the um, phone, so just bear with me. <laughs> Timothy, you're right. Um, it's not as bad as people make out. A lot of people try and make out Australia is a country where everything tries to kill you. I mean, it's probably right to a certain extent, but not all of it, you know. I mean, we have... Oh, I don't even think we have got any nice animals left, have we? Let's see, snakes. But they bite you, they kill you. I'll take that off the list. Goannas, big enough. Yeah, maybe that's not a good example either. Let's see, spiders. Oh, I think most of them kill you too. What else? Um, see, birds. Cassowaries kill you. Oh, we're not doing well. Um, yeah, I think I'll just shut up now. Right. Let me just tape this. All right. I've got some streams coming up on how to actually stream, fam. All right. All right, let's do that. Nice. Chuck that in there. Chuck that in here. That goes in here, like this. This goes in here, like this. And we're away. Beautiful. How's that charging? <laughs> Sensational. Everything's working today. I'm not accustomed to this. All right, let's go and see Billy. Hello, bud. Here he is. The sulphur-crested cockatoo. All right, so that's a little sulphur-crested cockatoo down there. Obviously, they're birds of flight, but they do spend a bit of time on the ground. We have a couple of pink and grey galahs in here. Hello, buddy. 
there we go. I think we've got a major Mitchell cockatoo in here as well. That's the one that's hiding out there. Now watch this. This is going to be funny. This one can talk. In fact, to be quite frank with you, it never bloody shuts up really. Here he is, climbing up the cage, trying to get a free feed of someone's finger. There we go. Hey. Hello, mate. Hello. Here he is. <laughs> now I'll show you why you never ever put your fingers near a cage. Watch. Watch what he'll do. Hmm? Mm. See? Yep, see how he's trying to bite you? That can bite through that, like that. Hello, mate. <laughs> Hello, mate. They can talk and they pick up a lot of swear words. It's quite funny. So they call them sulfur crested. See how it's got the sulfur um, on the tail and on the crest, obviously, there? Right, don't put your fingers through the cage. They will bite them off. All right. Uh, the major Mitchell cockatoos are absolutely beautiful. Hello. This one here is 30 odd years old. Okay, I've got all the information at home. All right, now I don't know whether you can see that up on the top left here. The um, pink and grey galahs are doing the ninja stretching, all right? Most birds are ninjas. Let me show you these beautiful little Major Mitchell uh, cockatoos up here, all right? He always tries to steal the limelight. Let's get a good angle, all right? Now, if you just have a look in here, there's a beautiful, oh dear. There's, whoops. I'm just going to try, there it is, we can get in through there, see that? See that beautiful little pink cockatoo in there? That's native to the east coast of Australia. Let me just bring this up on the phone. YouTube. Let me just bring this up on That's the phone. That's working. Alright. Okay, there we go there. And as per normal, here he is. He's trying to steal the limelight, as he always does, coming in for a cheap photo bomb. Hello, mate. Hey. <laughs> How are you, bud? <laughs> oh, they are, Timothy. You can tell they're a truly Australian bird. All right. There you go, bud. Let me grab this trolley. We'll go for a walk, Famo. Why not, eh? get a quick drink of water they know where the cameras are don't they hey after the school holidays when I came in here one of the cockatoo was going hello fat boy very funny there you go mate we're gonna go for a walk we'll pop back and say hello later all right let's go fam all right so these, this is the duck pond. Now, this is a Western Australian black swan, okay? They're in nesting mode at the moment, so they're a bit aggro. Right, hello, bud. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this a bit of feed. Right, we have a whole inlet filled with these. Let me just get the feed that we didn't finish before. Hello, mate. Now, probably going to try and get me through here. They have a very long neck. Come here, come on. You want some feed? There you go, bud. Yeah, there you go. Good on you. Woolly, little woolly wagtail on the fence. The consummate shaft. Lucky that wagtail is not the size of that swan then we'd have heaps of problems, all right? Okay, and what I'll do is I'll show you the snake cage a little bit later on, fam. Oh, you didn't fly into the fence, did you, buddy? Nope, that's okay. So, let's go and have a look at some quokkas. Let's go and have a look at some, uh, I don't know, we're gonna have a look at some kangaroos. Gonna introduce you to Elvis and Lisa Marie, the emus. Right, and away we go.
And as you can see, ducks are an absolutely filthy animal, right? They do just defecate in the water and all that sort of stuff. And um, it just goes a really horrible green, okay? The smell's not the best either. Right, now, what we have on the left-hand side here, okay, is the western brush wallaby. So let's go in here and have a look. Right, there they are, belting around the back. G'day, mate. So just at the back of this enclosure, right, just up here, that's a little western brush wallaby, okay? There we are, just in there. A lot smaller than the kangaroos. That one probably only stands about 50 centimetres high, just there, see? Right. So, all right, Timothy, thanks for coming in, mate. Sorry I missed that message, okay? <laughs> yes, yeah, subtract, and then it's all giggles until you grab it by the throat and rip its beak off. You know what I mean? So yes, this is a Western Brush Wallaby fam. Now, one thing you don't want to do is start screaming and carrying on, you know, and having um, fits and that sort of stuff, right? I think this is a really big locust tree fam. Look at the size of this. Are they locusts or figs? I don't know, I can't, they look like locusts actually. Right, absolutely huge trees. All right, he's gone into stealth mode. What I'll do, I'll see if I can bring him over with a bit of food. Let's bribe them. I don't think they eat this, they just eat grasses anyway. No, he's just after grasses, he's not after grains or anything like that. The kangaroos eat them though. Come on, bud. Nope, okay. Well, let's move on. Now the western brush wallaby is only found in Western Australia. Now what we've got in this enclosure, right, is the Tamar wallaby. Now this is found in Western Victoria, Southwestern New South and uh, Eastern South Australia, right. So what we'll do is, we'll just get in here. So this is the Tamar wallaby, right. We'll just move down. They usually hang down in the shade during the middle of the day down the back. All right, quite funny little critters. All right, grumpy little critters too. There's a whole heap of them here. Hello, mate. So there's one there. Quite a stocky little critter. You know what I mean? Quite a stocky little critter. Okay. Here he is. Hello, bud. Welcome. Dark side cat, how are you mate? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, he's a wallaby, so he'd have to be Wallamoto, I think. What they've got in here is two mating pairs. Oh, someone stole on the bike and tried to hide it in the bushes. <laughs> That's a good plan. All right, here you go, bud. So we've got two mating pairs in here. So there they go. Hey buds, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, let's move through. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll just work our way down to the um, Kangaroos, right? We've got kookaburras, kangaroos. We've even have some um, crimson tail cockatoos. Right, these are a rare bird as their numbers have been diminished uh, by um, sort of. Uh, they got, a lot of them got killed years ago by farmers when they were um, like uh, 
eating crops and that sort of stuff of fruit. They just like really hammered them. Okay, now this is the resident wombat. I wonder if he's in his burrow or he's in here. Let's have a look. Nope. So if you have a look at this, all right. So this is one animal that's built this mound. I'll just show you here. Right, so this mound is about, I'd say, oh, I don't know. Let's have a look. I'd say this mound is about 10 metres in diameter, probably about a good four metres high. And if we can just get in there, right, A mouse, yeah, they're like a big mouse there, baby blue. Right. Uh. Is he in there or is he out? No, he's in there. This is how he keeps cool. Right, so, just down through here, if we have a look through here, you can see there, right, see right in the middle of there, there's a little burrow. That's where he's sleeping to keep out of the heat during the day. All right, now wombats are really grumpy. Okay, and I mean really grumpy. And they do square poos like dice, which is unique to them, okay? But um, I mean, he just, very destructive little critters. All right, and I'll just zoom in on there. Can you see in there? All right. And that's not a swing, that's what it flosses with. All right, so what we'll do is, Come back through here. Let's go and pay a visit to the kangaroos and we'll get the job done. Yeah, they do look like a giant mouse. And if mice were that size, we would be in trouble. Uh, G'day mate, how you going? All right, now these are absolutely beautiful birds. These are the crimson tailed cockatoos. Right, we've got a couple of dingoes in here, fam. Hello, crew. Check these out. These are a very large um, parrot from the tip of their head to the tip of their tail. They're probably about 60 centimetres long or two feet. Here comes the boss now. So if you have a look at the tail there, right, you'll see the uh, crimson tailed feathers on the tail. Right. And these ones... Uh, usually mate for life, okay, which is more than we can say for some humans. Hey, bud. Here he comes. He'll see that. He's got to be the boss. Come on. You know you want to say hello. Come on, here he is. There he goes. Beautiful. Check this out. Look at the red in that tail. Okay, there he is. Hello, buddy. Aren't you beautiful? Very large bird. Okay, those claws, probably about three inches long. And that's standard chicken wire. I don't know whether it's the same size all over the world, but let's chuck that there. Hey, hello, oh, hello mate. Beautiful feet. Don't you dare put your finger through the cage because you'll end up looking like that. All right, these can bite through to the core of an apple to get the seed out like that. They're more of like a punk rock cockatoo, you know? Hello, buddy. How you going? Hey, I bet you're glad that the holidays are over. Oh, really? <laughs> See what I mean? Told you it was a punk rocker. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh. You behaving yourself or not? Hey? What are you doing? Yeah, those hook beaks, right? Very, very powerful. They can bite through branches and all sorts of stuff. There you go, Matty. You gonna say hello to everyone? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right. Hello, cartoon head. Welcome, bud. How are you, mate? Yeah, well, you're not allowed to keep them in WA Subtract. The only way you can keep them is if they're injured 
and you recover them. And then there's a special name for them, which leaves me at the moment. All right, Jimbo, welcome. We're just doing our once a month stream from a local wildlife park. Just gonna provide everyone in the community a uniquely Australian experience. Right, so, yep, they've opened the kangaroo cage. Brilliant, Jimbo, keep shoveling, mate. We do our gardening streams over the next couple of days. Oh. Yeah, I will do subtract. I will do. Right. Let's go. Mate, they can... The ease they can chew through stuff is unbelievable, mate. Absolutely unbelievable. Now, they've opened the cage for us. Nice. We just need to pick a nice shaded area, all the resident pigeons. There we go. Oops, get out of it, come on. There we are. Right, let's go and say hello to some kangaroos. And we're going to say hello to Elvis and Lisa Marie the local emus. Now Elvis is pretty friendly. Whenever I come down here, I put him to sleep. Uh, and it's not through like talking to him. I'd like to think I'm not that boring, but anyway. Right, so, no snakes today, which is good. Now this is kangaroo timeout area on the right here, Pam. Right, this is where they go when they want a bit of timeout. Okay, that's where they go. So you're not allowed in there. It's for the kangaroos and not for you, okay? Daz Dan, how are you bud? Welcome to the stream, thanks for coming in mate. So what we'll do first is let's go and see if Lisa Marie and Elvis are arguing with, here he is, hello Elvis. <laughs> right, now with the angle of the sun and the time of the day, I'm able to stream the emus. Now I'm five foot 11, Right, Elvis, g'day bud. Elvis is only interested in one thing. It's not me, it's the sound of a bag. Or is that Lisa Marie? Don't know, but we'll find out, right? So, let's go in here. Let's go to the other camera. There we go. All right, famo. So, just gonna need to stand in between, oops. In between there. Let's get that there. Okay, let's go and say hello to Elvis. I'll get this laptop out of the sun. <laughs> You're not wrong, Subtract. They certainly are. Elvis, come on, bud. Look what all I've got. Are you not feeling well, buddy? Oh, look at all the bags that they've got in here. You haven't been eating bags, have you? Come on, Elvis. What are you doing? Come on. Elvis. Is that Elvis or is that the female? I think that's Elvis over there. No? She's trying to nest, I think. Come on, Fee. I might have to go and report this to the park, I think, because he's normally a lot friendlier than that. Come on, bud. Elvis, what are you doing, bud? Hey? Oh, hang on. Come on, mate. We'll just wait for him to turn up then, okay? Now, I don't know whether he's... You don't have an egg under there, do you, Elvis, or what? I'll show you what's happening here, fam. We're just getting really close. 
Right, normally he comes up first thing and says hello, but what we've got, we have this giant of a bird uh, on the ground there. Now you've got to remember, in nature, it's actually the male emu, which I don't know the correct term for, that raises the chicks. So the fact that um, there's an emu on the ground there, I don't know whether they've nested there or whatever, but um, yeah, normally they come up and say hello. But I'm thinking Elvis is the other one. And see how it's picking up stuff off the ground and that sort of stuff? Normally that means they're nesting, but I don't know whether they are. What are you doing, bud? You're not even interested in food today, are you, matey? Hey? Elvis usually stands about six inches taller than me. All right? No. Rightio. Lisa Marie is the least friendly of them. Yeah, you look like you're nesting, don't you, mate? Or are you or not? Or are you just being difficult? And obviously you don't want to go in there because if they have got eggs, they're very protective. We've just come out of the spring, so anything could have happened, you know? So. If you have a look on the um, back of Elvis's head there, right, you'll see a little black dot just in here. Right, hang on. Just on the back of his head. That's his uh, ear uh, cavity there. You'll see it. See, yeah, just there, yeah, just that little circle there, that's his ear cavity. Okay, so his beak is usually bigger than my hand, all right? And uh, what we might do, in case he is um, nesting or anything like that, we won't disturb him, right? Um, I'll just, um, no, I'm pretty sure that is Elvis. And that is the other one over there. She never comes over. You gonna swap out for a second, Elvis, or not? Probably not. Right here. Okay, well, let's move on to the kangaroos. Right. <laughs> That's yeah, hard to get, yeah, yeah. Something like that, mate. Yeah, they don't work like humans, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me just have another drink. Now, normally there are a lot more kangaroos here, fam. For some reason, there aren't too many today. Right. So, let's leave him. I'm still going to report that. He doesn't look well. I'm worried that he might have eaten a bag or something and he hasn't been able to digest it. You know? Let's go and say hello to all the kangaroos. Now there's two types here. We have the western red and the southern grey. The western reds are more of a sort of rusty colour and they have a masked face. Whereas the um, southern greys are exactly that, they're grey. Right, so here he is. Hello bud. The only problem is I've got the laptop and kangaroos don't know what electronics are. So, let's come in here like this. Right, now these are not in timeout. So we're able to interact with these. Oh, hello bud. Let's get in here. Hello mate, don't you hop off. This one's a little bit older, you can tell by the thickness of the tail. No, 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 it's all right, I've got food. Hello, bud. Come and say hello. Come on. Come on, boys. Hello, big fella. Hey. Hello, mate. Let me give you a pat. Hey, you want food, don't you? Oh, these, it's much like uh, padding a furry brick wall. Very, very tough animal. Hello, beautiful. Hey, come here. Now, what's happened is this one's distracting me. The other one's going around to the trolley. Don't even think about it, buddy. Right, hello mate, how you going? You want some of them? Right. I've got enough bags for everyone. Okay, so what I'll do 
is I'll just get them over here. Yeah, there. Just occupy yourself with that. I'll get this out of the sun. Right. I'm just going to make sure I get the right angle. Okay. So come here, buddy. Come on. No. That one doesn't have a pouch. Come here. Big critter, come on. I'm not coming to you, you need to come to me. I'm trying to get you in a better camera angle. <sighs> hey, all right. They don't want to play ball today. We've just come off the holidays, so they probably are a bit jittery. Okay. Here you go, mate. Hello. There you go. They've got claws just like us. They've got a little claw like a thumb, and their claws are very similar to the shape of our hands. I'll show you that in a second. All right. This one's got a white spot on its back. It's a bit of a bummer of a birthmark, really, isn't it, bud? Hey? I'll be able to see you before the others, but lucky you're here, yeah? Hey, come on. So see that? <laughs> These are quite tame. Um, they have kids crawling all over them on the holidays and that sort of stuff. Do you want some more? Yeah, hey? Now, kangaroos will kill you, right? Uh, in the wild especially, so if you're in the bush and you come across a big male and he rears back on his tail, he will slice you open with his hind legs from your nipples to your knees. Right, do not shape up with them, and if you can get a punch in first, right on the end of the snout. Hey, there you go, buddy boy. Now, do you have a pouch or not, or you've got a couple of basketball warmers? Let's have a look. And what they'll do is they'll rummage around in the... Um, uh, sand and that sort of stuff to get rid of fleas and ticks and that sort of thing. All right. Come here. Hey, you want some of that? I don't want you two to start punching on either. All right. Come up here. Hey. Oop, what are you looking at? Hey. Now, do you have a pouch? No. Hmm. All right, bud. There you go. And just remember, these are really tame compared to the wild. Right. And they're herbivores, right? So if you've watched Fat Pizza and seen the uh, killer kangaroo, don't believe it. Here, come here. I'm gonna go say hello to your friends on the fence in a minute. You get your fill there, okay? Most of the weight of the kangaroo is from about the front down. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll show you how big their feet are, okay? Let me show you how big their feet are. Right. So we're going to zoom in on this one's bottom claws, right? Here you go, buddy. And I'm going to show you, this is my Samsung Galaxy 21, right? And that's how big their claws are, see, look. Yeah? As wide as the phone and twice as long as the phone. I think in the old days they used to use those as weapons in warfare. Okay, so... Right, let's get some of those ticks off you. Hello, bud. You want to scratch, don't you? Hey, you like that, don't you? All right, now let's go and say hello to all your mates. Where's that Western Red? I want to show him the difference. He didn't pass on, did he? No, they're all greys over there. There was a resident Western Red here, but he used to get a bit hammered by the other southern greys, you know? So, you going to come over? And you can normally tell the age of a kangaroo. Something like that, subtract. Right, by the thickness of their tail as well. So this one here, right. There we go. Roo tail stew when you're camping is absolutely lovely. Not to the roux though, you know what I mean? Just thought I'd throw that out there. Okay, hmm, what are you doing? Ooh, I better let them know. This one's got a little bit of, um, it's got a little bit of a, a film on its eyes. That's not good. There you go, bud. All right. 
See? Very, very tame. I'll have to mention that to the um, park as well. There you go, mate. So, this one here, see that tail? If that whacked up and hit me in the face, quite easily break the nose. Can I just show them your tail? Am I allowed to do that? That's how thick it is. Whoops. Here. Turn this way. All right. So this tail here, right, is as thick as me phone. Look at that. Right, see as it went off, it flicked up, and I had to have the hand down there. All right. No, that's got basketball worm, worm as it doesn't have a, like warm as it doesn't have a pouch. All right, there we go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the other part. Well, look, mate, if you want to come over, you'll have to come over and join your mates there, okay? All right, let's go for a walk. Elvis, we normally put to sleep, so I'll ask. Oh, no, he's up. Elvis, be worried about Elvis. Oh no, I think they're changing over on the eggs by the looks of it. Let's have a look. Have they got eggs? What are they doing? Rightio, yeah, this is Elvis and Lisa Marie. Just give them a bit of space and they'll come over. And normally when I come to this park, I put Elvis to sleep. Not through the streaming being boredom. Right. There we go. No, he was just being Elvis. They got eggs? Oh, they got eggs there. Let's have a look. <sighs> Whoops. Come on, fella. Hey, what's going on? You got eggs there or you're just not well? Come on, Elvis. What happens is on the holidays, they get absolutely hammered and then they get a bit jittery. Come on. I'm still gonna have to report it though because it shouldn't be that. The drumsticks on these things, not that you eat emu, but drumsticks on these things are about yeah, long and about yay round. Come on, Elvis. Come on, mate. Hey. Maybe it's getting ready to this, I don't know. But it looks like it's trying to, you know? Hello, little birdie, come in. Hey, bud, there, look. Yeah, look. There you go. That's why there's so many pigeons here, they just cash in on the food, you know what I mean? Aussie Welsh, we are, bud. We certainly are, mate. Our once a month stream. Hey, I'm not trying to do anything. Are you gonna come down here or what? Hey, wonder if they'll eat out of the hand. Come here. Come on. Hey. Oh, hang on a minute. He's injured his foot, I think. Has he or not? Elvis, what's wrong? Or is that Lisa Marie? No. Nah. Hmm. Yeah, there's something not right here. I'm gonna have to report this when we get back. Come on. Come on, mate. Come here, Elvis, come on. Now, hear that noise? That's him making a uh, noise with his vocal chamber. Or her, I can't tell. Come here. Come on. Yeah, after the holidays and everyone's climbing all over them. Sorry, birds. Everyone's climbing all over them. What they do is they get really, like, ugh, standoffish. Come here, mate. Come on. Hey, look, food. Can you come on to get some or not? Come and say hello to everyone. No. Mm -hmm. Excuse me.
Mm, I think that's actually Elvis there, judging by the hairstyle. Come here, mate. <laughs> Not on film, please. Oops, sorry. All right. Look, look. They are very jittery. Hang on a second. I'll see if I can get them to come over. Come here, mate. Look, come on. Here. No, that's Elvis over there on the ground. This is the female here. Come on. All right. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong there. I'm going to have to report that. Oh, it is Aussie Welsh, you know, and it just provides a uniquely Australian experience for everyone. So what we'll do, all right, so, a change of tact. Now, I don't think this is Elvis, I think this is Lisa Marie. Lisa Marie has never come up to say hello to me before. So I've got to be very careful. I could, don't want to lose an eye, you know what I mean? Right. Righty, Lisa Marie, come here. Hello, mate. Can you say hello to everyone? Hey. Hey, see? You want some? Come on. Come here. Come up here. Yeah, this is the first time that um, Lisa Marie's come up to say hello. Hello, see? I'm not that bad, hey? Let me just get that out from around your eye. You don't want that in there, mate. Hey, what's that? Okay. Come here, Lisa Marie. Come on, mate. Come here. Come on. Hey, you hungry? Sorry, little bird. Come here. Come here, Lisa Marie. Come here. Come here and say hello. Hey. Let's bring her up. Hey. Come on. No, not interested. I'll go and see the um, head um, groundsman here and just let him know about what's happening over there. So, hey, let's get you in much closer so they can see exactly how big you are. All right, let's bring this in here. There she is. All right, so, come here. Hello. I'll give it a little pat. Hey. So as you can see, it's a fairly big bird. I mean, the bird's head is the size of my hand. Come in, come on. Hey, you say hello to everyone? Why are you trying to go to sleep? Huh? Uh, next time you're having a curry, that is affectionately known as an emu-like poo right there. Right? So if you go along in the Australian bush and you see what looks like a curry, don't eat it. All right. Hello, mate. What's wrong with lover boy over there, eh? Come on. Okay. Yeah, they're not with it today. I'll go and let the um, let them know what's going on, and then that way. Hi. Hello. Now that's very interesting. That one went down on its hind legs. Have a look at the size of this emu's feet, fam. All right, I'll show you how big this emu's feet are. Look at this. All right. Have a look at the size of its feet. All right. That are massive. Okay. That, if you have a look next to it, 
There's a little pigeon. The feet are actually the size of the pigeon next to it, okay? Come on, mate. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? You gonna say hello? Hey? Normally at this time of day, they're absolutely full of beans, you know? So I don't know what's going on with that. All right, well, I won't hassle them out too much. Let's go back, okay? Let's go back to the kangaroos. <laughs> Some of that, Cal. Some of that, bud. All right, let's go and say hello to the dingoes. Right. Oh, there's that western red. I want to show you this western red kangaroo, fam. All right. Here he is. That's that western red that I was telling you about. Well, I think there's only two of them here. Hey, bud. This one's a really old kangaroo. It's got a masked face. Hello, little mate. Hey, bud. Hey, here he is. Don't you run away. No, let's get closer. Oh, he's coming in, he remembers me from last time. He associates us with food. Hello, mate. Come here. G'day, buddy. Hey, now see how he's got the little masked face? There you go, bud. Hey. There you go. Give him a little pat. Hey. All right. So, yeah, he has the masked face through here, and it's a more of a rustic colour. So, um, yeah, that's the Western Reds, okay? Uh, these grow quite big, especially out in the desert, all right, whereas the southern greys are usually a stockier and sort of uh, stronger looking animal, much like this bugger here. Hello, bud. You've obviously been working out. Hey, I think you need to spend more on chest and less on legs, pal. There we go. So let's bring that in. Here you go, bud. All right, there we go. G'day, mate. Hey, crew. There you go, bud. There you go, mate. So 
sorry. Hi, little fella. Okay. Oh, that fell off. Sorry, Feb. Here's me thinking that we're, uh, that's a rookie mistake, isn't it? Here you go, crew. Come here. There you go. There you go, bud. Hi, buddy. Come here. <laughs> they have got heads like big mice, haven't they? Hey, don't go in that trolley. You don't know how to use a laptop. Stay away from it, pal. That's that uh, we uh, western red that's just come through. No. Oh, dear. Here you go, mate. Some for you, too. Oh, you're hungry. Hey, hang on a minute. I've got a... Uh, get out of there. There we go. Rightio, come here. There you go. There we are. Hey. Yeah, these are younger kangaroos than the other one. That's some more. All right, there we go. Hey, bud. You want some more too? Let's get those twigs and ticks off you, hey? There we go. All right, fam. So what we'll do is we'll move down to the dingoes now. All right, Femo. So we've done our bit. Let's move down to the dingoes now. We'll go and have a look at some quokkas. I'm just going to go and mention to the uh, head groundsman and uh, keeper of the animals that the emus look a little bit off. And then away we go. All right, let's zoom out. Yeah, sorry about that crew. I didn't realize the camera had flicked back. Now that it's starting to heat up, what we're gonna do is head out into the shadier areas. All right, we'll just get out of this sun as the sun cooks your equipment. Away we go. Sorry about that, Jackie horse. Let's get that in there. All right, that's shut. Oh, we can't shut it, we'll have to leave it for someone else. Let's go back through. All right, a couple of quokkas up here on the left. Then the uh, dingoes, and we'll head back to where we started. Radio.
here they are <laughs> quokkas can get quite grumpy actually so we're just going to walk up here nice and slowly these look like uh really big mice as baby blue picked up before here it is hello bud <laughs> they actually are like really big mice how are you mate so see that you have two populations one on the mainland one on rotness thank you very very much patch good to see you in here mate and like i said if you ever want to chat patch just uh send us a message in discord mate hello buddy hello mate what's this do you eat these there you go matey Normally these are really quite timid. Right, there we go. Okay. Let's just put that in there. Hey fellas, how you going, right? Now we stream once a month from here, fam, as part of our agreement, and part of our agreement is we're allowed to come in when there aren't the general public here, okay? Okay, let's move through now. What we'll do, we'll move down to the dingoes, right? Dingoes are carnivores. Okay, whoops. I'll turn that around. Hey, Rolly, how you going? Hey, matey, those emus look a bit listless. Those emus look a bit listless. Okay, yeah. Uh, do you want to... Oh, the keeper's oh, now. Yeah. The keeper, well, he's going, you're going back out right now? Yeah, I'm just going to go past the dingoes here oh, and yeah. then... Uh, well, if you... The keeper will just be in the reptile area anyway, if you see him, if you can... Just okay, I'll mention it to him. Not, I'll yeah, because... Um, I'll come back because I'm just leaving. Okay, because one of them was on the ground and he's sort of not getting up, and the other one's sort of slumped down on its back legs. Oh, I don't know whether. In the shade or well, really? yeah, they were, but it just um, normally they come up and say hello, so I can't figure it out. Oh, okay. All right, mate. All right, now, here we go, fam. Australia's native dog, the dingo. All right. So, hello, mate. There it is, it's gonna come in and say hello. All right. G'day, mate. Hello, bud. Hey, ooh, what are you doing? Both of them are here now. Normally they sleep during the day and they're quite active at night. Okay. And this is a mating pair in here. All right, there we go. And what they'll do is one of them usually stands up on top of this little platform and likes to keep lookout. Like this, I'll show you. Hey. There it is. So, I think the male's the bigger of the two. There we go. There we are. There we go. See? And what they'll do is they'll just stay up there on that platform here, right, and just sleep all day. And then they're pretty active at night, apparently, so. Okay. What we'll do now is we'll move on to the booble cows. All right. Let's just get down through here. So, 
So, oh, they're nesting. Oh, no, this isn't the boo book. This is the tawny frogmouth. There we are, fam. So I'm just going to put this in the shade. Right, and I'll show you this tawny frogmouth. Hello, buddy. Aren't oh, you too beautiful? Now, see how they blend in? That one's just uh, extending its head there to make it look like part of the branch. All right. These would be about 18 inches long from the tip of the tail to the top of the head. Right, and I mean, if that one there didn't move, you wouldn't even know that there was an owl there. They're very hard to pick up in the um, bush because they're so um, good at camouflage. And I mean, there's one up there that I didn't even pick here, see? There. Right, just looking like an extension of a branch and that sort of stuff. Very similar to the colour of the branches. Right. And uh, because they sit so still, you would just think that that, that that just like a lump of wood. You know, beautiful birds, great feathers for flying tying, not that you'd pluck them, because you'd probably get shot. <laughs> All right, fam, let's move down to where we started from. We'll go through this last bird cage. Right. And then we'll just work it from there, okay? So as I said, once a month we stream from here. Right. And uh, part of our agreement is we can come down here when um, there's no public around. Okay. Here he is. This is the pe peacock that we saw when we came in. Hello, mate. Look at him. Beautiful bird. Very good at guarding these. I know someone that's got about, uh, oh, I don't know, 15 of them in a farm, and he reckons they're better than any guard dog. So the moment they see something, they just make noise. That'd be a nice little screensaver, actually, I think. Look at that. Hey. Look at that, beautiful. Yeah, it's called a flat battery, Ozzy Welsh. I'm very sorry about that. Okay, I'm very sorry about that, mate. It's called a flat battery. All right, there we go. Now, that's the major Mitchell cockatoo there, the light pink one. Okay, 
and there's another pink and grey galah there. Alrighty, and there's our little mate. This one's quite tame, we can get quite close to this, look at that. Okay, fam, let's just make our way to this last um, cage with the birds. <laughs> yeah, I know, mate. Oh, the other one was charged. This one wasn't. It charges at a different rate at the other one. This, um... Hello, he's talking. Hello, mate. This peacock must be comfortable with us because it's not even moving when we go past. All right. Now what I'll do is I'll just show you this large cage in the shade. There we go. All right, let's have a look in here. All right, now, this is a little marsupial that you don't see. This is called a long-nosed potteroo. Right, now, there he is. Look at him right away tucked in that corner down there. Only tiny, I think they're lucky if they're about eight inches long. Okay. So. Oh, there is Aussie Welsh. So just see him in the corner there, just sitting down doing its own thing. Hey. Now I'm not gonna disturb it because normally they hang out during the um, heat of the day in here. Right, there's a couple in there. And then, we have a brush-tailed possum. Now, where is he? Not in there. I can't see him there. All right, let's just see if there's brush-tailed possums in here, yeah? Right. Can't see, unfortunately. Let's have a look. No. no. All right. Well, people, what is it now? It's nearly two o'clock. That's actually our allotted time frame. All right, so what I might do is I might just go over here. Uh, I'll feed these off stream. Our time slot in here is from about 12 o'clock to two o'clock. Okay. And I'll just plonk this down here. We're in the shade now, which is good. All right. There we go. I'll bring the laptop. All right, fam. So, look, um, thank you very much for tuning in. All right. Um, let's just grab this down here. Okay. And uh, let's leave it there. Look, um. Thanks very much for tuning in. Um, greatly appreciate it. All right, just a short stream today. We were meant to do this last week, but we had to bring it forward to this week, okay? And uh, look, um, we'll be back in here again next month, and we'll be doing our other stream um, this Wednesday from the Sea Rescue Rehabilitation Centre for Sea Turtles. All right, so tell everyone about that, okay? You're welcome, mate. Thanks, Aussie Welsh. Thanks to the 11 people that have uh, come in. Okay, and thank you very, very much. All right, see you, crew.